Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about pressure balance rooms. People are still confused uh, between pressure and reflection, so I'm going to keep trying different approaches here so there's some more understanding. We only have two issues in a room, pressure, reflection. That's it. Don't make this any more complicated than it is. Now, there's all kinds of things out there that are scary, really, because they're not they're not understanding. They're, they're not understanding the big picture. They're not looking at the whole macro level. They're just using tactics and marketing and hype and half truths and innuendo, exaggeration, anything, you know, to play upon the ignorance of people. So be careful here. Pressure and reflections. If what the company you're looking at is talking about and it's not under one of those two main categories, turn around and go the other way. Because that's the physics of the problem here. We have a room. It's a container. It's a box. We're trying to put pressure. And when we put pressure in there, we're going to have reflections. So we're going to have pressure and reflections. That's it. Both have to be managed, okay? Pressure is anything under 100 cycles. It's not going to fit. It's not going to fit in your room. Just accept that. There's all kinds of reasons why, but it's not going to fit. A 100-foot is about 11.3 feet long. Well, a lot of rooms we look at are 8 feet, 9 feet, 10 feet. So you can't even get 100 cycles to fit. At 40 hertz, I think it's 28 feet. Well, now where are we at? Nowhere. All right. So what do modes do? We know that modes are pressure, axial modes. Okay. They exaggerate or attenuate. Wow. Give me more of that. Give me more of a problem that allows me to hear too much or not at all. Come on. That's ridiculous. So we got to treat all axial modes. We just have to. Okay. That's just the only way around it. They're everywhere. Floor to ceiling, sidewall, sidewall, front to rear. They're everywhere in a room. My favorite thing is, well, you can position your way out of axial modes. Really? Where? In a closet? Where are you going to hide? Those are your pressure points in rooms. Well, you're going to put your chair here? You're going to put your chair over here? Here? Come on. It's ridiculous. That's where all this nonsense is. So the only way to do it is two process. We have two processes. You build it into the wall and you turn the whole room into an absorber. And we got to get all axial modes. It's triple and quadruple underlined for a reason. They're the loudest, most powerful and produce the most distortions. The, the tangential and the uh, axial, or the tangential and the oblique modes can usually be handled without going to such extreme situations, wall hanging units. But anyway, let's get back to the pressure problem. In wall, CAW system, project 30 in the project section of our website. Watch that video. What's our other option? Freestanding panels. Since the problem is everywhere in the room, we have to treat the whole room. Now, there are certain areas of the room that have higher pressure. If your speakers are here and here, well, you're going to have real high pressure here. You're still going to have high pressure here and here. But if we're phasing the project, that's our start point. It, it's our first tactic towards the strategy. All right. So we have the ACDA 10 and the carbon panels. Those are our freestanding units. So we can either build it in the wall or build a new room with panels. That's basically what we have to do. We have to create a new frequency friendly environment because what you have isn't. So we have to change it. Unfortunately, since pressure and reflection issues are throughout the room, we have to treat the whole room. We don't have choices. Physics of the problem dictate the treatment requirements. Okay. We got the most powerful technology in the world. Second, there's just nothing close to us. Go look at the performance. You can see it here in the graphics. Look at that performance for the 12. That's our most powerful product. 30, 40, 50 hertz. Tremendous power. 100% at 50. 63 at 40. 35 at 30. Huge, huge bites out of these pressure pools. And that's what we want to do. Because we don't want them there. We don't want axial modes. Why would we want something? Whoops. Why would we want something that exaggerates and attenuates? No, we're after a smooth response, right? 
we, we, we're trying to get take a response that's got the double hill and then the slide. We're trying to take it and, and do more of this. There's your exaggeration. There's your attenuation. We don't want to hear too much. We don't want to obviously want to hear everything. So we don't want any loss. That's craziness. So you can't find a better performance. Now, it's, it's a huge sacrifice. I understand. And our ACDA 10s and 12s and our carbon panels are 60 inches for a reason. Because most of them go in 8-foot ceilings. And we've learned over the years that you have to have at least 50% surface area coverage here to reduce the problems. That you can really hear them go, wow, what a difference. That's what we want. We want our clients to go, wow. When they go, wow, they always want more. It's just the way it works. When they've been struggling all these years for a solution and they get one, they want to finish it and get complete. So that's why we always sell our units in groups of four, because that's 50 square feet. We found that's the smallest amount of surface area that you can use for that wow factor. And 90% of people that do a phased project, if they bust the room up into three parts, you know, absorption, diffusion, and cosmetics, they're able to uh, get it done a lot faster when they get phase one finished because they hear the big improvement. And two things inevitably happen. They have regret they didn't do it sooner, and they'll never live without it again. So when you have those two ends of the paradigm, you know, falling in the middle is good, but if you've been at the end where you've been struggling for years, it's time to fix it. We gotta fix it by starting with pressure, balance in the room. Reflections, whole nother issue, whole nother type of treatment. We'll talk about that in another video. Pressure balance room, hope this helps, thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.